Hi guys, today I want to show you what are in my opinion three of the best Twitter clients for Android. And since I use Twitter pretty much every time for my main tech news to get them quickly, I think it's time to show off some of the ones I use. Let's start with the first one, which would be Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix is the most minimalistic one. Let's get quickly get through it. If you open the hamburger menu, you see the timeline, the mentions, the activity, messages, favorites, discover lists and saved searches. Let's get into the settings next. Here are the settings and you can change the appearance pretty much exactly to what you like it. You can change the theme to light, dark and black. You can also change the font size, the font type. You have this one, so about regular with thin and condensed. I really like condensed. The date format, the media preview and the links color. That's it for the appearance. You can change the quote format, change the syncing, refresh internal, enable real time updates and tweet marker and the maximum tweets. Then you have the navigations, you have the sections, use the internal web browser, invert the tweet gestures and swipe to compose. And as you can see, this is not too much. And in my opinion, it's a bit too less because I would like to have at least tweet longer to make it my default one. I really like it otherwise because let's check the performance. And here's the thing, if you had unread tweets, you will see them here up top if you scroll and this is pretty nice perfect placement i think and as you can see it is buttery smooth let's check the actions if you tap once you get this menu for reply retweet favorite you also get the menu for share copy tweet and translate if you double tap you get into it and you see the answers or posts if they come in you can also do this by long press to open it but that's about it so as you can see, it is pretty smooth, pretty nice. You can easily find search. You can do everything what you want, except like I said, I miss tweet longer. It's a bit too minimalistic in my way. Now let's get to the other extreme, which would be Talon, which in my, ex in my experience just is a bit overkill. Let's check the hamburger menu first. We have the timeline, the mentions, direct messages, discover lists, favorite users, retweets, favorite tweets, and search tweets, and uh, uh, safe choices. And you can already see there's much more going on than in Phoenix. And here we have this talent settings, and this is what I think is just a bit overkill. You have the UI settings, you have timeline settings, sync settings, notification settings, and advanced settings. Let's get back to the UI settings. You can change the layout to talent, hangouts and full screen. Nice. Themes, you have the light, dark and black theme. Also nice. You have night mode widget themes. You can change the text size, the font type. You have different themes available. You have the UI extras. This is pretty nice, but now it just gets a bit overkill in my opinion. As you can see here, you have the timeline settings with dozens of options. You can change the limiting options the other options for the actions. On the sync side, you have talent pull. You can also auto refresh options, pre-cached options, other options. As you can maybe see, there's a lot to change. Notifications also, you have notifications, do not disturb, alert methods, custom ringtone, also a lot. You have an inline browser, which is pretty nice. You can browse a page on tweet, plain text, manually configure, you have Shortening service like Tweet Longer, which is pretty nice. I really like this one. Tweet Marker. You can use TwigPit. You have emojis. And as you can already see, so much options. And for me personally, it is a bit too overkill. But if we check the performance, as you can already see, this is, in my opinion, the smoothest of all three of them. Phoenix is pretty fast as well and smooth, but this one just feels slightly smoother. And here's already one thing I don't like. If you have unread messages, and you go up, you can see them here. But I think he up there, because when I read, I mostly use this part when, when I scroll and I wanna know how many I've left up there as I would have it here. But up here, it just looks wrong. You can disable this, but then you don't see how many are you, you are from the top. If we check it, we hit once, you go into it, you have all the other options like usual. You can also make a long press on it to get reply share and everything like that so in definitely it's definitely working very well it has all the things you need even too much of them but it is definitely the most powerful of all free clients it is super smooth it works very reliable but in terms of options there should be maybe some kind of new mode or some minimalistic mode because it's just too much for me
and now i want to get to the last one which is perfectly uh, which is personally my default one which would be robot in the hamburger menu you have home mentions directs favorites retweets lists and trends if you check the settings now you have a really nice amount of options not too much but also all you need you have a dark light and black theme you can change the highlights show the tweet source the absolute time replace the actions for long and single tap you can disable the preview images also change the size then you can change the tweet font size the user font size you have tweet marker you have tweet longer that's pretty nice you can change the photo hosting as you can already see here you can mute everything you can change the auto refresh the streaming and control the notifications and this is in my opinion close to the perfect amount of settings you don't have an overkill so you get just blown away or overwhelmed by it but you have everything you would need on a really good twitter client you can compose pretty easily it looks pretty nice okay the color theming right now isn't my favorite one with this sort of slightly greenish tint and the other theme is even worse but otherwise it works super smooth it's about on par with phoenix i would say not as smooth as talon but otherwise it works pretty nice if we tap once we have here this it blurs out you have the check mark you have the retweet the reply button here you have share favorite and copy to clipboard and if you don't want it if you tap it twice nothing happens but if you press longer you get into it see the posts and the comments so to sum it up Phoenix is if you want it clean and minimalistic with not too many options Talon on the other side is if you want to change about everything you could possibly customize it exactly to your needs it has about every possible thing I don't really know what else they could add to make it even more useful and the last one would be robot which in my opinion is still for me especially personally the best one because it has everything I need and I want but it doesn't overwhelm me as Talon did I can quickly change stuff and if you saw talent you have to search really long or, or know very good where an option is to change it so i hope this helped you to decide which could be the new or, or the best twitter client for you and i hope you like this video reshare it give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel okay bye i'll be back